Hello everyone, this is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life and um, I wanted to give you guys an update on my health. I'm actually feeling a lot better. Um, I do not have a doctor's diagnosis, but I did have COVID in September and at the beginning of November, I um, got some really serious symptoms. I got shortness of breath and serious fatigue and uh, it was it was really bad. I don't think I've ever felt this kind of fatigue uh, since I was really sick when I was a very small child. And uh, even that was worse than what I had, but this was um, what I considered very serious and I almost got to the point to where I almost went to the emergency room, but I didn't. And um, I never did end up going to a doctor. I did um, look for a natural path, but there doesn't seem to be one in my area, but I'm going to keep on looking. Maybe I'll get, get lucky. And, um, but, um, what I am is what my daughter calls doctor averse. And uh, I don't like doctors. And that's because I spent a lot of time in my youth in the hospital and in doctor's offices. So, and then, um, you know, of course, through life, I've seen a lot of things happen with people and I watch things that are happening with people now. And um, I actually got into a fight with um, not one, but two doctors because one of them tried to put me on cholesterol medication and I refused. And the other one tried to tell me I had diabetes when I did not. So I uh, really don't go to the doctor unless I'm dying. And um, I was sick and I came very close to going to the emergency room, um, but I actually improved and I'm, I'm much, much better than what I was. Um, seriously, I had a hard time walking from my bedroom to the kitchen, from the bedroom to the bathroom. There were two days when I literally did not feed myself. Um, <clears throat> if it wasn't for dinner that my son made, um, a lot of times when I was filling up my water bottle, I'd grab a banana and just eat that in the morning for breakfast because it was just too much. And um, I sat down and uh, honestly, at first I thought I had pneumonia, but then when I started looking at um, the side of, or the symptoms, I discovered that I very likely had long COVID fatigue. And I had a lot of the symptoms, but not all the symptoms, which I'm very thankful for. But I watched a lot of videos. I read a few papers. Um, I think one of the reasons why I ended up not going to a doctor is the fact that, um, I mean, there are things that doctors can do for you, but you literally have to figure out what you need to do for your body. And one of the first things that I did was start cleaning out my cabinet. I'm sitting over here looking at all the, I have tons of vitamins and supplements that I have. And I went through my cabinet and I started pulling everything out. Um, like they talk about um, gut health. I had probiotics, so I started taking those. I bought these. This is methylated B vitamins and I took them for a little bit and they started giving me headaches so I quit taking them which was one of the side effects but I'm taking them now um what else do I have I have my vitamin d3 k2 I have my zinc I have my cod liver oil and then I just ordered some vitamin c I got the chewable kind because the pills, I just hate the pills. I was taking some aspirin, but I stopped taking that. And uh, I just got the NAD supplements. Um, these are really important. They say that they are pretty good. But I tell you, when I started taking the melatonin, I, um, I feel like the melatonin and maybe the zinc, and I have a magnesium oil spray that I use. I think those helped a lot. But um, 
one of the other things that I was doing before, um, after I got COVID and I was still having some lung problems. Now, this is not the mullen, but this is the dandelion root tea that I ordered. The rest of them are in the kitchen. I just got this out of the package yesterday, but I got mullen tea from the same company and I'd been drinking that. And I think that's probably why I haven't had a lot of problems with my lungs. The, um, the mullen tea um, really worked for me. But um, I, like I said, I'm feeling much better. I'm still fatigued. I'm still tired. I can tell you that after I eat dinner at night, all I want to do is lay down and, and go to sleep. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just crawl into my PJs and I crawl into bed and I just go to sleep. The only problem with that is if um, sometimes I wake up at 2.30 in the morning and I'll sit up till about 4.30 and then I crawl back into bed and sleep another couple of hours and uh, get up and start my day. I still don't have a lot of energy. Again, I get tired very easy. The shortness of breath has, um, hasn't has completely gone away, but um, it's, <laughs> it's 10 times better than what it used to be, and I'm very thankful for that. I also um, want to suggest that any, if anybody else has long COVID that um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that you can go and watch, and there are so many suggestions. Um, one of them was the nicotine patch, but I don't want to do that. Um, I think, I think for me, the mix of vitamins and supplements that I have and, um, is working really well. I think the only problem that I'm still concerned about is that my right leg is a little swollen. Left leg's fine, right leg swollen um, at my ankle and my foot. And I'm not sure where that's coming from, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and it's fine. And then as the day goes on, it, it swells up. So I, I don't think it's a salt issue. I'm just really not sure what it is. So um, we're just gonna have to let it work out. Uh, I think I said I was taking aspirin, but I quit taking it. I think the next time I go to the grocery store, I'm going to get some baby aspirin. I'll try that. Um, one of the things that they talked about, about getting um, uh, long COVID, was that the fact that you're, they described it as your blood thickening up. And um, my blood's never really been real thin, but I kind of feel like it's a little thicker than what it should be. I was taking regular aspirin, but I think it's upsetting my stomach. A couple of things that I've eaten this week, I've gotten stomach aches. So I've been trying to be really, really good at taking these probiotics and uh, eating my yogurt. I am usually eat it with blueberries and granola, but um, otherwise I'm, I'm doing a lot better. Um, things really could be worse. They really could be. I watch some of the videos of people that don't even get out of bed that um, are really, really struggling with this. But um, they talk about your attitude and your thought process. And on that second day, I was like, you know, you're right. I don't have time for this. I have too many things that I need to do. I am too young to not to be able to take care of myself. I watch my mother-in-law who is getting out in her yard and trimming up her her plans and you know she's busy she's had a um handyman over there she just got all her floors redone and uh, she's just an inspiration and here i am laying around not getting anything done so it's um you know, like i said she's an inspiration to me and i need to get up and i need to get things done and uh Thanksgiving is coming. My daughter's going to be here with my grandson. So I got things I need to do and I can't just sit around all day not doing anything, feeling sorry for myself. So um, I get up in the mornings. I let the chickens out. I make my breakfast and uh, I try to do um, something extra every day. Today was getting my truck started. My truck has been sitting um, I haven't been driving it other than just back and forth across the street a couple of times. Eleanor has been uh, kind of taking care of the chickens over there. She helped me one day last week when I was struggling and they needed water and their water is a five gallon container. 
So I was able, it was empty, so it was easy to carry. So I got it to the water faucet and we filled it up. She actually, Eleanor filled it up for me and then carried it to the coop. And then I took it from the coop and put it inside for the chickens. But I mean, it was, it was that bad that I had my mother-in-law help me put water in the chicken coop because yeah, the shortness of breath was really bad. So guys, um, I want to say thank you very much to Victoria and for Tammy for um, checking on me and giving me some really good advice and some things that they have learned um, through um, their journeys with healthcare. care. Um, again, I'm still going to look for a natural path. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that I find somebody, but I got a feeling it's not going to be in uh, Tuscaloosa. Uh, I found a couple in Birmingham, but they're all over on the other side, and that's an hour plus drive, and I'm not interested in that. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky and something will fall into my lap. But in the meantime, again, I'm feeling much better. Um, short as a breath has gone away. I'm still tired, I'm still fatigued, but um, from what I understand, you just, you know, you do a little bit every day, and then the next day a little bit more, and the next day a little bit more, so that's what I've been trying to do, and it has been working. Um, I think we forget it sometimes. A lot of it is right up here, and uh, sickness is a sickness, but how we deal with it is also a big thing, too, so... I had to change my attitude a little bit. I had to quit feeling sorry for myself. Um, I pushed myself as much as I could. I pushed myself too far one night and that was really bad. Um, so I learned very quickly what my limits were. But uh, other than that, I'm doing much better. Um, I'm, I made my coyote video. I'm making this video. Um, we've got a big project coming up and I'm going to get down in the basement and give you guys a look at what's going on down there. We had somebody come out and um, look at our foundation because I know I have some foundation issues. All you have to do is just walk through my hallway and look at the cracks in the ceilings of my house and you can you can see that there's a problem. So we had them come out and take a look and uh, my basement walls are leaning. They're about an inch off from the top to the bottom. So they're gonna be coming back out in December and uh, they're gonna be fixing my walls, trying to get them back up and flush. And um, then once that's done, I've got another guy coming out to fix my front porch because I don't know if it was because the walls are leaning, but my front porch fell in. And so we're gonna get that fixed too. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. That'll make me very happy. Now, if I can keep the coyotes from eating my chickens, I'm down to eight. I have 12 hens and two roosters in my backyard and three hens and a rooster in Eleanor's backyard. And um, I've been keeping, I have been keeping a close eye on them. And um, so far, nobody else is missing. But that doesn't mean anything. You know, I go out every morning and uh, this morning I found part of the fence down, but it was in a spot where I don't have a camera. So I'm fixing to, fixing to change that. We're gonna put a camera down there. Excuse me. <sighs> but other than that, everything's going pretty well. Um, I've been able to keep up with um, my chores but like I said, it's it's the extra stuff. Um, I need to pull my tomatoes out. I think my tomatoes are done. I want to get some plants in, but I, I think it's too late. It looks like next week we're going to have a freeze. Um, and then, of course, it's the beginning of deer season. Uh, my um, Uncle George, him and his buddy were out there the other day sitting and... Uh, it was funny because as soon as they left, there was two gunshots. So I'm not sure where they came from. One of the neighbors for sure, but hopefully they got something. You know, I would love to have a deer in the freezer. But I think I'm going to wait till after Thanksgiving and then maybe I'll 
pull out the rifle and, and go sit during the day. See if I can see anything. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it probably would be better for me than just sitting around the house all day. But guys, this is long enough. I've already gone 15 minutes. Again, I want to thank everybody for thinking about me. And um, goodness, Thanksgiving will be here before we know it. And I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. But you'll see me before that. But guys, you guys have a blessed and joyous day. And I will see you on my next video.